The next topic to discuss would be file storage and the main file storage services from AWS. As I have explained earlier, file storage is about having a centralized file server that you create on top of it network shares and directories. You assign as well the permissions of who can access these shares and then you expose them over the network. Clients connect to these shares using a client protocol. Windows machines use a protocol called SMB, while Linux machines use another protocol called NFS, or Network File System. Clients mount these shares to their local file system and become able to extend their storage by writing and reading files from this remote storage. This also helps if you need to offer shared storage for multiple clients and machines to have concurrent access to the same datasets. On AWS, you can manually set up this file server, get an EC2, then configure it to play the role of a file server. However, we have a set of managed file servers from AWS that offers better scalability and native highly available architecture that is managed and operated by AWS. The first one of them is EFS, or Elastic File System. This is a scalable managed file server for Linux environments. The file server can auto-scale and shrink, can offer petabyte storage capabilities, and can allow thousands of concurrent access requests from thousands of EC2S. Another important point to mention, your data and shares on EFS are stored in a highly available way across multiple AZs. Similarly, like EFS, we have also FSx for Windows. The same architecture, the same concept, the same kind of scalability, and high availability, but for Windows environments instead of Linux environments.